Hey everyone, it's Jeremy again, and I'm back to do a little discussion, compare and contrast thing over the Vampire Diaries book series by L.J. Smith versus the CW TV show. Now, I'm, I want you to say I'm not hating on the TV show. Okay, well maybe just a little bit, but you'll, once I understand my explaining of things, you'll kind of understand why I'm saying the things I do. But this is the first bind-up of the first two books. The Awakening and the Struggle by L.J. Smith. This is fine. In the back. And if you guys want, um, I do plan on doing individual book reviews over these. I've only read the first four books. I have not read anything besides that because I haven't been able to get my hands on them. And then this is the third and fourth books. The Fury and Dark Reunion by L.J. Smith. And this is Vampire Lane on the cover. And these are old paperbacks. They're very beat up. I got them like a dollar, so I'm gonna. I do plan on give. I'm gonna give these to my brother because he really, really likes Vampire Diaries. He likes the TV show. I personally do not. Um, but anyway, anyway, we're gonna talk about the TV show. Um, when it first aired, I was like, cool. Uh, um, I was like, mm, mm, cool. My brother was watching. He said, this is. This show is epic, and because it's about vampires and Twilight, it was really, really popular with Twilight and True Blood and all those other vampire TV shows, um, movies, TV shows, and, and whatnot. Um, I'm a truer. I grew up on Buffy, on Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and the spinoff series Angel. Those that, that was kind of vampire stuff I watched. Besides Interview the Vampire and Queen of the Damned films, you know, and stuff like that, but. I didn't really watch the show until after I read the first four books, actually. I didn't watch season one or anything like that until I, wa until I watched, until I read the first four books. So I read both of these before I saw the first season. And I did give the first season a full chance to be amazing because, you know, with shows, you know, with episodes, they may not include something right away. It may be put later. But the book series and the, and the um, TV show are completely different. They are, the only things they kept were the names. And I'm not kidding you on that one. They kept Stephanie and Damon Salvatore. They kept the name of Lena Gilbert. Um, the town name in the TV show is, is um, Mystic Falls. And in the book series, it's Fells Church. That is one of my biggest angry pet peeves about it that I just cannot freaking stand. Now, in the show, there is a church in the town of Mystic Falls called Fells Church. I kind of liked that at least they brought that into it, but it's but that is only a big impact on <clears throat> the first season. It that. It, that church never has anything to do with any of the other uh, seasons. Um, but if you guys want to know, I've seen season one, and I've seen season two. And and I never plan on watching the rest of them. I'm not going to torture myself. No. Um, I just, I really liked the stories that were told in these books. I really liked the characters. And... A lot of people love this show, and if you guys like the show, I'm very happy for you, really. Congratulations on finding a show that you absolutely love. I just don't. Um, Tyler in the books is Tyler Smallwood, and in the show it's Tyler Lockwood. In the novels, it's Matt McLoganoff, and in the TV show, it is Matt, um, I forgot his last name, I'm sorry, I fell on that one, but, and then in, with the, with the Bonnie character, in, in the, um, show, it's Bonnie Bennett, and in the book series, it is... Bonnie McLoganoff, I believe. I think I said that name twice to some of the other characters, but I'm not sure, but I believe that's how you pronounce it. 
I'm not sure. But, <clears throat> and in the book, she's a psychic, and in the TV show, she's a witch. And her whole family is witches. There are so many angry things about it, I can't, I can't even tell you without getting completely furious. Basically, they basically didn't like what L.J. Smith wrote, and so they were like, you know, well, we're not going to go off of the books. Now, Julie Pleck, the creator of the show, did kind of explain why they didn't make Elena blonde, and they didn't make her so, because a lot of people don't really like Elena from the novels. I personally love her, just my opinion, but I, did, I felt like they should have, I think they should have did that better. Um, and and my the most angriest thing that I cannot stand and I cannot believe that they did this was in the novels Elena has a little sis a little three year old sister named Margaret and she's adorable to read about every time she's a part in the books I just laugh because she's so cute and she's amazing they took that three year old sister Margaret actually I think she's four. I don't know because she changed. She she you know she ages a lot through, through through throughout the series, but so far I think she's about three or four in these books. I haven't read anything past book four, but anyway, <coughs> and they changed that four-year-old sister Margaret to a sixteen-year-old older, a sixteen-year-old younger brother. They completely changed genders. And they made him this drug addict character. What even? Like, I'm so angry about this stupid show right now. I can't even, it just infuriates me what complete trash the TV show is. Now, if you're a lover of the show, I'm really sorry, but you have to understand where I'm coming from. I started reading the books. The books in my opinion, anyway, just my personal opinion only, the books are way better. I find their storylines to be a lot more interesting. They're not as dark. They're not as, like... I find a lot of the, the TV show storylines to be very predictable. I've been able to kind of say, okay, well, I, I'm going to guess this is going to happen, and it actually does. So there's just... I feel like there's no surprises in the TV show anymore. It's, it's become so... True Blood esque, Twilight esque. It's just, it's just sad now. It's, and they've been renewed for a sixth season, which I'm surprised the show is even going on. I mean, how how can you ruin the beautiful world that L.J. Smith created in these books to be complete trash? I just don't get it. <clears throat> and another reason why I don't really like the TV show is only in the TV show has brown hair when in the novels she's blonde. Her being a blonde has everything to do with her character. The characters... Oh, 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 and that's another thing. The character of Elena is nothing like the character or and her, her, her character and her personality from the TV show versus the books. Completely different. And the same thing goes with Stefan and Damon. Completely different. Same thing goes with all the characters. I feel like they, they just took a, the, the love triangle from the Vampire Diaries. The, a, a few of the characters' names changed up their last names, changed the, the name of the town, and created their own little Vampire Diaries. The title of the book series is The Vampire Diaries because several characters have diary entries. Dear Diary. That's the first chapter of it. And then it goes on for a few more pages of the diary. That diary. And then this is diary, and then it goes back to the normal text. That's the key. There was only diary forms in maybe the first season, and then after that, they just stopped. I'm sorry. I don't mean to hate on it, but I, I kind of do, really. I just, I cannot stand it. And... <coughs> It's just, these books are, this book, these are going to be considered, the first four anyway, are going to be considered classic someday. This came, the first 
bind up or the first book in the actual series was published in 1991. This, the first book, oh, I mean not this edition because this is edition is actually 2007 release, but the first book in the actual series is just as old as I am. I was born in 91 as well. So these books, these four, not these editions anyway, but these books are just as old as me. And it's just, it's horrible to know. I just, I kind of wish that L.J. Smith would have um, read the script and um, told them no. And then, <coughs> obviously, only the first seven books in the Vampire Diaries series is written by L.J. Smith, starting with book 8 through 13, are written by ghostwriters. I do plan on reading those books because I do really love this series. It's really sad that only three more books of this series are going to be written by it, by L.J. Smith. I love L.J. Smith. She is definitely one of my favorite authors. She has written these, and these are some of my favorite books ever. Um, I actually kind of want to reread these again. They're so good. I, but anyway, <coughs> that was my complaining compare and contrast video. I guess I just I just don't like it. I just don't like the show at all. I think it's just trash and it is just it's it's just it's a complete disgrace. I mean this is the worst and I mean worst book to TV show adaption I've ever seen in my life. Pretty Little Liars is closer to the novels than this series is. It's just nuts. It's just insane at how much I hate this show. And I and I, I never wanted to. I, I, when I first heard about it, I was like, these books are amazing. There's a TV show now. I can't wait to watch this. I can't wait to see how close it is to the novels. I don't know if you guys hardcore fans feel the same way about me. And I may not, I may get a lot of hate for this, but I don't care. Sorry. The show is trash. You can call me every, every bad name in the book. I just, I'm sorry, but I still care. I, I, it just breaks my heart. It breaks my heart into a million pieces. This beloved story of this town, with these characters, and everything that goes on with them. And they just ruined it. And now L.J. Smith has to write fan fiction just to just to continue her version of the Vampire Diaries series. How sad is that? I'm gonna go before I get really angry, but you guys are probably gonna be on opposite sides of, of this, uh, this discussion, but I personally do not like the show, if you have not noticed. I cannot stand it, and I refuse to watch season three, four, five, and however many series seasons they make of the show. Um, I can't even watch the show without getting angry. That's why I stopped watching. I've seen only seasons of the first two. And I thought, you know, as I kept watching, I thought, okay, well, the first season is going to be the first season. And then I watched season two, hoping that some storyline versions with Catherine are going to be intertwined with the second season. But no, they didn't take a single storyline from these books to the show. And that's just, it made me so angry that I just couldn't. Well, we're almost at 14 minutes now, so I'm gonna go and try not to be angry. But I'll always, I will always hate the show. And I'm not a hater. I just, I just like the books way more. And I think it's complete trash with it, how, how much they ruined her story. But anyway, I would love to know what you guys think for what, which, you know, if you got, are you guys hardcore fans of the books like me and for the books versus the stupid sh show? Or are you show versus books? Just let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to know what you guys think on this topic. And yeah, this was a really fun book discussion compare and contrast video. Um, this will be Vampire Diaries versus the TV show. This is what it'll be called down below. <coughs> but I hope you guys have a great day and let me know what you guys are reading. Um, I'm currently still reading the Hunger Games. I'm about halfway through the book now, so I'm, I'm barreling through it slowly, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Alright.